While we may have met 11 years ago, as it would turn out, the timing was not quite meant to be. But seven years later, however, with an unexpected text message, the timing was perfect. I'm so grateful our paths crossed again right when they needed to. It feels like the first time every moment I'm with you. She's kind and caring, which is evident in the work that she does. She's quietly intelligent, incredibly humble, uh, laid back and secretly mischievous. And she has really met her match with Pete. It's like a river world, running as free as it can be. I have the absolute pleasure of speaking today on behalf of a lot of people in this room and I've had the honour of being Pete's mate for a little over 20 years. Peter, I'm so happy you found not only your soulmate, but your camping buddy, and from what I've heard, an excellent golf caddy in Pitt. While we've always been close, I really felt that I got to know Pip the best when she moved in with Sean and I. Our little blonde adopted ray of sunshine. <laughs> She's gentle and kind, but never afraid to be a little silly. And, and with our Pete, our little ray of sunshine became even brighter. The love and happiness we share doesn't stem from the grand gestures, the holidays, or the moments of exhilaration. Rather, it resides in the simplicity of everyday life, in the ordinary routine that we often overlook. It's in the smile you give me each morning, the laugh over a cup of tea on the couch. It's listening to your long, slow stories after work, sometimes so slow and long that you forget the punchline. My Petey, Peter, Pietro, Patel, Bozo. From the moment we got together, <sighs> our relationship has always felt so easy to me. It has always felt right. It's in the morning walks, coffees and book club, or simply the comforting presence around the house. It's in these seemingly insignificant moments, the way you bring happiness into our routine, despite what's going on around us, that my love for you thrives. You took me by the hand and you haven't let go. You have shown me what it feels like to be truly loved and how to truly love. I'm so grateful for the way you encourage me to take on new challenges, despite it taking you away from work, family and friends. And I see it as a privilege to be there for you in return, to be your best friend and your home. When I think of you, I think of home. You are my comfort and my safe place. You fill my life with so much joy. You energise me and you give me the spark that I need. I promise never to take your unwavering support for granted, including, as you've heard, for golf. May it last forever despite the married men insisting it won't. Having you in my life has given me the courage to tackle anything because I know that I won't be doing it alone, but instead we will do it together. Philippa, you challenge me when I need to be pushed. You support me when I am vulnerable and you stand up for what you believe in, calling me out when I am, or anyone is, speaking unjustly, in turn making me a better person every day. You are cheeky, a joker, and often up to mischief, usually planning the next topic of teasing or a new prank. And you are always making me laugh. I love you, you are my happiness, and I'm so lucky to be able to spend the rest of my life with you. I promise to truly love you for you, and to see you for who you are, the way that you do for me. I promise to make you feel like the most loved person in the world, each and every day, in the way that you make me feel so loved. 
family and friends. This is the moment that you have all been waiting for, nobody more so than our friend Pete here. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Pete, you should definitely kiss your beautiful bride. greatest pleasure to introduce to you all for the very first time lovers for life Philippa and Peter Waves and rows, the highway gold is in our hands Rusted hope and city smoke the violet lands It is an absolute joy to welcome Philippa to our family she's a darling Welcome everyone here this evening. What a fabulous day celebrating the marriage of Philippa and Pete. Congratulations. Let's hear it for the bride and groom, Peter and Philippa Kelly! Our daughter, Philippa. <laughs> Philippa, the last of our three daughters. No, three children. <laughs> Sorry, Sam, we had a son. <laughs> Hipster, Prince Philip, Philharmonic, <laughs> Bozo, <laughs> and Contrast. She's always been very loving, very loyal, and none so more to the husband, Pete. Pete is a trustworthy, reliable, and caring young man. Sometimes Phil just looks fake. <laughs> Phil is so down to earth. You seem to know each other deeply and I have no doubt that this partnership is and will continue to be a really strong one. I saw how easily you transitioned into our friend and not just Pete's girlfriend. And I honestly don't think I can pick a better person to share Pete's time with. I just have to remember to steer clear of sassy Pip when she decides to come out. I remember Pip, our slow queen, being quite startled by how quickly she started to fall in love with they each complement each other so well. And it was obvious that Pete was falling in love with all the things that we all love about him. In the spirit of the next adventure, everyone raise your glasses. I wish you not only the best on this special day, but the many days to come. You will be sorely missed as you embark on your trip of a lifetime to Milan. Viva mi sposi.
star jumps for you on the golf field. <laughs> Peter, I love you and I'm so excited to do life with you as your wife. From Canberra to Milan and whatever else the future holds for us.